Hey everyone, today I have a little video here for you about my failures in the game, showing you those times when I actually really suck, and I also decided to pick on a few other people in it too, so you'll see a few replays from some friends. But first off, we have a T-34 below us, a lone T-34 as far as we know, and look what's happening to our right. Bruiser, who is, we're platooned with, is just getting swarmed. We're taking hits from behind, that one, or that IS took a shot right into our turret ring from behind, and we tried taking a shot with that broken turret, but that just didn't work. And now instead, instead of sitting up here getting mobbed by 40 tanks, I decided to head down and chase that T-34, but where did he go? Oh, there he is to the right, and... <laughs> well, <laughs> so much for chasing down the T-34. Now, in slow motion. Now, as we watch this in slow motion, I just want to say to you guys that at the end of this video, and also in the video description, I'm going to let you know how you can submit your replays. I'm still working on my website, so I don't have an official good way of you submitting them to me so far. Uh, but I do want to see stuff like this that you see in this video from you guys. So you can upload it to wotreplays.com and send me the link via YouTube or Twitch or however you want to message me. Twitter's fine, too. Uh, but next up after this, we have another replay, another not so much failure as unlucky moment for me. There I am, looking at artillery, I've been hunting down, and what? He just shot me through the stairs. How did he manage to do that? Well, let's take a closer look. Yep, he shot me right between the posts on that house. That's a shot that I would never have made myself if I were the one shooting. Uh, if I was the one on artillery shooting at the T-69. Uh, he got lucky. I got unlucky. Next up, we're on the T-54, we're on the top of the hill, we're messing with a E-100, and there's also E-75 and I believe a T-110 E-5 up there. Oh, and here comes a mouse. Well, I was hoping I could take care of the E-100 by myself, or else at least hold him off until my team could help me out, but it looks like that's not going to happen, so I know the only way I'm really going to bounce shots from the E-100 is if he either A, hits my turret, or B, oh, I missed my good shot there. Or B, I managed to side scrape and my tracks absorb it. I was going to do that, but mm, just as I decided to run, he managed to get a shot off at me. Bounced it off my turret, though. Put one into the mouse on the way out, and I'm off down the hill, praying that this won't kill me. Doesn't even track me, luckily, so I am out of there. I'm not going to stick around to see who can get to me first. Although it would be quite funny to watch the E100 or the mouse dive off a hill for me. However, I am not alone. We do have a couple mediums up ahead, and, well, this being this kind of video, we all know this isn't going to work out well. <laughs> I'm sure you can already predict what's going to happen, uh, but I have decided that I am on a rampage. I was not feeling this whole be patient thing. I was under pressure. I was concerned. I, well, I figured I was dead either way, so I was hoping I could land on top of that Lorraine, but eh, it just didn't happen, obviously. <laughs> That's how things work for me. All right, next... We are in the MT-25, a little light tank that once upon a time replaced the T-52. And, oh, who's that coming along below us? Hmm, nice T-29. Now, he's on lower ground than me, so what do you think I'm going to do? Run away? <laughs> no. We're just getting a run at it. We need to get a run at it just so we can land on him very nicely. We need to be able to get far enough away from the hill so that we can actually hit the top of him. I'd rather hit the top than the side, just because. And, whoop. And we actually managed to hit something that time. <laughs> we did a whopping ugh, 110 damage to the T29. Took out our last few health points. So if I were doing this battle again, would I still do it? Yeah, but I'd probably go a little bit slower. <laughs> just to hit him a little bit more directly. Uh, but yeah, that, that was fun. All right, so next we're in the E25. Same idea here. So again, what do you think is going to happen? Oh. Who's this up here in the tank destroyer? At the bottom of a slight cliff? Well, unfortunately, he sees this coming too, just like the Lorraine did a couple of three plays ago. And uh, we reached as far as we could, tried to hit him, but we just barely missed him. Uh, and he manages to finish us off after we tracked ourselves. Fortunately, though, we did allow that KV-1S a shot at him, so we led to his death. Our actions led to his death, regardless. And uh, now we have Dante Max, also known as P-51D Fighter. Uh, depending what game you play, you might know most different things. And here comes an M7 towards our base, as you can see on the mini-map. And he knows it's coming. He saw it. So he's going to stop here, line up a shot, prepare for the perfect moment, and nope, let's move forward. He has a better idea. He's going to go hug the guy, shoot him point-blank with a large-caliber high-explosive round. Let's see how this works out for him. Well, he... 
<laughs> he killed the M7 and himself with his shell. <sighs> Dante, Dante. All right, next up, we have a platoon. There's me, uh, Denominators, and Bruiser, who Bruiser's perspective is who you're, who's you're watching from. Uh, so we have decided <laughs> to bum rush the enemy team from behind because we figure they're kind of busy in front, but not terribly. Uh, so we need to act now if we're going to do anything or else we're going to have to face them all head on. So first off, take out this lone lobe. And with all of us shooting at him, as well as a couple of heavies there, it doesn't take long. The Dominator just put himself right behind the guy, just so that he could hopefully only shoot his turret. Alright, now we have a T-28 up ahead. I've, as you can see, taken the low ground there. Bruiser's taken the high. I was hoping to only show my turret to him so I could bounce a few shots, but unfortunately he does get a few in on me. And the ones I do shoot at him either bounce or get absorbed by his tracks. Now Bruiser's tracked in front of him. And T-28 manages to finish off the Dominators there. And Bruiser's going to put one into his nice, juicy turret sides. T-28s, they have very, very horrible side armor. So if you ever get a chance to shoot them in the side, in the hall even, go for it. Next up, we Bruiser's watching over there to the right. I haven't even noticed that yet. Uh, the medium's coming up behind me. But Bruiser's going to shoot at the front of the IS-3. The IS-3 made a mistake, however, managed to get lucky by backing up at just the right moment. If he hadn't have backed up then since the IS-3 is slanted, or is, has angled his, himself, that has actually given Bruiser a flat face of armor to shoot at. As you can see, Bruiser is aiming at the right side because it was effectively flat. And, oop, didn't quite have enough time to aim at that shot. The Type 59 isn't the most accurate thing in the world. Uh, so now he's going to come over here, help me out. Although our artillery kind of beat him to it. I'm going to put one into the that guy there and ram him. And now we have a dead T-44. Alright, so that turned a pretty iffy moment into a not bad one. Got myself three kills. Bruiser's got himself a little bit of damage. <laughs> and Denominators is dead. Well, our team did come out on top though. So a little bit later on in the battle, you can see me over there running away from the M103. I'm a one-shot kill. He's still at, I think, close to full health. And Bruiser's got a VK between me and him. Uh, so he can't really do much to help me. He tries putting one into the VK. He was aiming for the gun port there. And seeing how he's on higher ground, if that would have hit the gun port, it definitely would have gone through. But now he's got the M103 back there to shoot at. He didn't rush that shot. Uh, you could argue that he should have, but he made it count anyway. Uh, I probably would have rushed it because I would have wanted to get to the side of the M103 rather than face the front. But because Bruiser's up higher, it's actually degrading, I guess you could say, the angle of the M103's frontal armor. Uh, so Bruiser now knows that he is going to be in trouble. He knows the, v the VK and the M103 are probably going to come up to him at the same time. So he's going to take higher ground, he's going to move to a slightly different location than they expect him to be at, and that's also going to give him the height advantage, again, against sloped armor, and as well as hopefully the element of surprise. He will also have an escape route should he need it when he's here. The only thing he has to worry about is artillery. Alright, so there's the VK. Bruce is watching him, and as you'll notice in a minute, me and chat, I don't know what I'm talking about. You'll notice that soon. <laughs> but it just was not my day. He put one, puts one to the side of the, he puts one into the side of the M103. M103 rushes a shot, misses. He shouldn't have rushed it, otherwise then Bruiser wouldn't be able to run back out like this and get another shot off. But again, the M103 was under pressure, so and he just oh, barely manages to make it out of there. Now they're both one-shot kills. Bruiser decides this is my chance. I'm going for the M103 first because I can get up behind him. Takes a long way around to get behind the M103's gun as much as possible. M103's not really paying attention, though. And if it were me, I would have just dived on top of the M103 and killed him that way, but <laughs> that would have probably gotten me killed. And Bruiser here, he's still 100% health, so he's doing good so far. Whoops, what was that I said about 100% health? Oh well. There goes his only remaining ally. He's heading towards their base, who, in chat in a second, you'll notice, I got the bases completely mixed up. I thought that our base was the actually the enemy's base, and uh, it was the whole thing. But anyway, Bruce is taking the back door to our base now to defend. I imagine he went this way so that he could avoid taking fire from artillery. And now he has a T-32 to face. The T-32's got a little, almost three quarters of his health. Uh, he tries to get that shot below his turret, but it just wasn't a very easy shot to make. So he moves up a little bit closer this time. I think he was surprised by the rate of fire of the T-32. 
Uh, so you'll see him play a little bit differently now. T32 is trying to angle his frontal armor, but it just seems that he hasn't quite discovered side scraping. If I were that T32, I would have tried side scraping so that my tracks could have absorbed the shells that the Type 59 was shooting at me. T32 slowly getting willed down. Oh, Brewster doesn't quite get that shot in again, but that's okay. He's probably going to need another two shots to kill him. So there's one right through his track. Now Bruiser should have a slightly faster reload time than the T32. And he manages to put that right through his front. Now then, it's just Bruiser and the S51. You may have noticed a moment ago. Actually, you didn't, but the Yog Panther 2 and the other piece of artillery actually managed to kill each other. The artillery sh was shot by the Yog Panther, who then managed to get set on fire before being destroyed by the artillery piece. I don't know, it's just Bruiser and the artillery, the S-51. All he has to do is avoid getting shot once, and he will win. Uh, unfortunately for Bruiser, this map has undergone quite a few changes, and there's actually no roadway here that he claims there once was. So, whoops. <laughs> oh, Bruiser. I'm sorry, but you, know this was, you knew this was coming when you gave me that replay. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to send me your replays. Remember, you can upload those to wotreplays.com. Type in the description of that replay exactly what you want me to look for. Give me a timestamp of what to look for. And, you know, send me anything that's kind of neat like that. Uh, I hope to have it up on my website soon. By soon, I mean probably only a couple months from now still. Uh, an actual way for you to submit re replays right there, and you guys can all share them and stuff like that. But if you haven't checked out my website, it's spacegk.com. It's still a work in progress, so give it some time, and eventually we'll have something cool there. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.